Hi, I'm Trev. I'm also known as Take an Idea in many forums and particularly on Head5. And I want to talk to you today about a product that's just come to me. And I know my man from China will be very, very keen to find out what I want to, what I can tell you about the CCA CC10. CCA C10. So their earphones, obviously, uh, 32 ohm earphones, 7 to 40,000 frequency. I'm almost 52 and I can hear up to 15, so 25,000 of those uh, hertzes aren't really very useful to me at all. But anyway, apart from taking the cellophane off, I can honestly tell you here and now, that I've done nothing more. Before we go any further, you people that are into this sort of stuff will want to know that I haven't paid for these. These have been sent for me to review and spread the word far and wide about them, for good or for bad. Um, Sony has no influence on what I say about them. And as I say, other than taking the wrapping off them, I've done nothing at all, but we're gonna to listen to them straight away and you will be able to see in my face exactly what I think about them almost immediately. Uh, they say the eyes don't lie, so we'll see what goes on. So, okay, as you can see, we've got detachable cables. They look quite nice. They look like they'll fit into the ears uh, with that nice olive shape. 10 units, so there's 10 drivers in them. They were $41 if you had to buy them. As I say, they've been sent to me by uh, CCA, uh, so as I can put my impressions on them. Very fancy packaging. So we'll just try and take these out. And so we've got the plastic out of piece, so there we go. And as I say, these are the first time I've done this, so you'll have to bear with me. Yeah, so I hope I don't look too silly doing all this. So let's take this stuff in the back out, first of all, because that looks to be the way to it, doesn't it? So there's our detachable cable. Let's have a little look at this. Yeah, so it's very typical of the rather premium feeling cable that's around at the moment. Um, two pin connections. I mean, it all looks pretty well finished to me. Um, I got the microphone version, just in case I want to do um, hands-free calling uh, with my phone. And all nice and neatly wrapped up there, but obviously we'll have to take that off if I'm going to have a listen to them for you. Certainly if I put these in properly. Because that can be embarrassing when you appear like you're an expert and you get it all completely wrong. But anyway, let's just uncoil this nice and neatly. So there's, there's, no, uh, there's no cinch cable, uh, so as one can pull it up um, closer under the neck. It's not a big deal, but um, other ones I've had recently have been exactly the same. It's a nice right angled um, jack which is nice. So that's that. Let's get the drivers out there. So they'll come with a standard medium fit. And let's just push out from the bottom. Yeah, that's right. So C10 right, 10 hybrid technology. What was the hybrid technology again? Let's have a look at the user guide. Let's see what this hybrid technology actually is. What's happening with the drivers? Have they changed it? Uh, have they made it different? Uh, just the sensitivity for ears. Headphone performance, background noise, use wire microphone, earplugs choice. Best loss of music quality player. 
I'm just having a look to see if I can find what the hybrid technology is. Oh, thank you, sweetheart, for um, throwing that down. We'll just have a look and see how well the build quality of them is any second now when I put them on. Hoping that they still work. Um, look, I'm really sorry. We'll have to get back to you on what the hybrid is, what the drivers are made up. But look, there's 10 drivers. I mean, that's enough. For $41, 10 drivers, my God. Crazy. Uh, nope, that doesn't tell me either. So, this has to be the left one. And that one hasn't been dropped, so it should be okay, this one. We'll have a go. And, um... Imagine it fits in that way, does it? Hmm. No, nope. fits in the other way by the look of it. Yep. Let's put that on. That looks all right. That looks like it's the right way around, I think. Nope, I have got it on the wrong way round. I do apologise, people. Um, there we go. Very easy fit, very firm fit. And a great fit into the ears. I can already hear myself speaking, so there's an awful lot of good isolation going on there, so that's great. I'm really impressed with that already, without the music. Of course, the music is the, the real test, and I won't be able to fake my reaction to that. Pardon? I can't really hear what's going on anymore. Okay, so... I think we're ready to roll. And here's an MP3 or digital audio player I prepared earlier. The wonderful Hi-Fi Man Super Mini. And a secret tip for you all, the balanced connection will probably work on these and just give it a little bit more volume and a little bit more dynamics. So let's switch it on. And let's get a track on that people might know. Um, so we'll put on uh, Equinox Infinity, which is released last month by Jean Michel Jar is updated Equinox after 25 years. Three twenty MP three. No, we're only on eleven out of thirty two on the volume. Already I can't really hear anything else but the music. I can't hear my own voice so Okay, so we've got lots of bass and a bit of a visceral feel to the mids as well. Lots of separation in the track. A little bit of microphonics with the cable, but nothing major. Let's put this on pause so we can give you a bit more information about the sound. Okay, that's easier. Right, that was 
pretty impressive for a, fair, for a pair of $41 earphones. My God. Why they're not on sale on Amazon.co.uk, I don't know, because they had to come from America. Albeit they did arrive in about eight days, so it wasn't much. But, yeah, it's incredible what you can get. I mean, there's no harshness to them at all, and yet there's detail, there's separation, there's some visceral effects to the mids. I think that was more prominent than the bass, but... Yeah, for synth tracks like that, plenty going on. There's nothing to criticise, really. They sound absolutely great. So, yeah, initial impressions. I think, uh, thanks, Sunny. Thanks, China. You've done it again. Well done. Uh, we'll put this on YouTube and you could all comment and tell me what you think. Whether I'm being genuine or whether this is some sort of fraudulent attempt to get every $100 earphone in China thrown at me, but thank you very much. And, um, well, hopefully you can buy a pair and tell me what you think, if that's what you want to do.